done with this and we can continue talking to our crew and hello brimstone splendid mass effect monday to you hope you're doing good good to see you. shepherd i'm glad you're here good to see you smiling again uh, so to speak i'm sleeping much better now i guess i'm getting used to how quiet your ship is i still think a lot about my pilgrimage though i know Theron's our top priority but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. True. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. <laughs> You're royalty. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. Uh. I probably had it easier than most growing up, but it's not all good. People like my father have enemies, and they're not above using me to get to him. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage, something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed, and that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the veil. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Saren, then I'll worry about my own problems. But I wanna help! What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. Mm. She passed on oh, about see. five years ago. Oh. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. 
I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Uh, goodbye. I should go. See you later. I think we talked enough for now. I still have three people I have to talk to, so yeah. Hello, Rex. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. <laughs> what happened? A retector. I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. Sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Your father? Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make me cry, Shepard. Always. I've got some unfinished business with my family, but that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. I wanna help, I wanna help! Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Atus. A Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander... I want to be there when you find him. 
All right. So long, Rex. Yes, it was important mission. Mission. I really wanted to have that for my journal. Definitely gonna get your Commander? armor back, buddy. Hi. Do you have a few minutes to talk, one on one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? No, ma'am. And anyway, Scuttlebutt says he's already sweet on someone. What's up? You didn't come mm -hmm. by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah, took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized. But he never made it above servicemen third class. He was real proud when I made chief. First thing he did was salute. Aww. What Lovely. about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be. Able to raise kids while dad's away on a six-month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us, though. You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest, she's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. Where did you grow up? <laughs> All over. We transferred a half a dozen times before I finished grade school. You go where personnel command sends you, right? I guess that's why I'm so tight with my sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. You're lucky to have a close family. Oh, sorry, I forgot about your family situation. Yeah, you're tactful now. It's all right. It's or all right. lack thereof. Relax, Williams. I've dealt with it. Ask me to clear a bunker of armed hostiles? No problem. Dealing with the foot in my mouth? Not so good with that. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Oh, I like it, sorry. I remember it, actually. Story. You're like Tell sharing? Me. Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen Hellwai away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. Exactly! Yeah, of course. What my shepherd if says. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. You said all of your sisters learned self-defense? Lynn did pistol practice, but didn't like it. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took Aikido. Abby decided to learn the sword. She always was a little weird. <laughs> Likes big skirts and I like Abby. to tie her into. They do great things to her figure, though. So, what did you learn? One of Dad's friends taught me Marine hand-to-hand. -hand. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years. Like a day's cruise. It's not like I was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. Well, I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight up puncher. When he swung, she just... she wasn't there anymore, and he fell. That's she helped cool. him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was gonna end up on the ground again. 
But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. Ah. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. <laughs> it's kind of coming out of nowhere. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Ah. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Honestly, not my place to judge. Your beliefs are your business. I'm your commanding officer, not your moral compass. I appreciate that, Skipper. I should get back to my duties. This is actually what I what I think in real life about religion. Like like mo most of the time, just who, who the fuck am I to judge? If if you don't use it to to make things weird and uncomfortable for other people, if this is only just a thing for you, you have to believe in just to suit yourself. As long as you don't hurt, as long as you don't use religion as a reason or way to hurt other people who might have judged she has such a weird family i always like the story about her sister sarah um I, I i like that strong williams women story somehow um okay i think we talked enough right right yeah <laughs> dismissed chief ah uh, ma'am okay last one and then we can have some action again ah uh, the best for the last, the, the last, last bet. Okay. Commander, good to see you. <laughs> You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Oh god, I remember the organs, story. Mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. But they're not as bad as the cycles. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What about the doctor? What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Yeah? Go on. 
One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Saleon's employees. They were test tubes, walking, living test tubes. That is sick and beat. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess. But only on the inside, Ugh. hidden, so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties. The ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. Fair enough. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. Well, you can't get them all. No, but letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't. But at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I actually agree with him. I know I'm Paragon Shepard, but... A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they died by now anyway. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Ah, uh, now you can... Uh, uh, now you can finish the crew member missions. Yeah, yeah, I already got, um, uh, I don't know if you were paying attention a couple of minutes ago. It's already been a while ago. I already got the, uh, mission from Rex with his family armor, and now I've had Garrus. But do you know where we've came... Was the one with Tally as well? Because I spoke to Tally, and she was like, yeah, I have to bring something back for my... Uh, I have to bring something back to the flotilla, and uh, I, I, I was asking questions, and she was like, yeah, now we take care of this later. I thought there was one for, for Garrus, Rex, and Tally. Maybe I did something wrong with Tally. Maybe I have to talk to her again later. But yeah, you definitely give it to me. We gotta get I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. Yeah. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. I'll promise. Let me see one more time. If I miss something with Tally, but she was literally like, "Yeah, we take care of this later." Hey, Shepard, do you need something? Yeah, we already talked about this stuff. I should go. Gonna, gonna check with us. Check with us later. I mean, first and foremost, I think. Uh, do we immediately go back to the Citadel? I still also have the Saberus mission. Let me go upstairs first. I still have the Saberus mission. Is this something I can go back to? This is something I need to be done, and then back to the Citadel. Maybe we go for the Severus mission first, and then we go to the Citadel. Because we always go to the Citadel after a big mission. And... Oh God, I also still need so many keepers. Jesus. And then we can start doing Rex and Garrus mission. Besides, after Severus one, I don't even know how many side missions I have left. Let me see. Uh, Garrus, exactly, and Rex. I'm pretty sure Tally had one as well. Missing person, don't remember you. Ah, Severus. Is there a diplomacy? Oh, yeah, go to the Embassy Lounge. This is definitely a reason going back to the Citadel, but like I said, we always go back to the Citadel after a big mission. But let's do the Severus, Severus mission first. Investigate Yangtze system. Go to the Yangtze system in the Voyager cluster and investigate Severi activities on Bintu. Okay, Voyager cluster, Yangtze. Why are cluster young tea? Good Why timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. I will Top have priority clearance. Okay, patch it through. Uh, wait, from who? Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. 
I'll patch it through to the comrade. Uh oh, okay. Part of the main mission, isn't it? Oh! Or is it at some other game? It has been ages since I played Mass Effect. Well, that was definitely something with Tally and a mission, but I, I, I thought it was Rex. Maybe. I mean, she said she it would be helpful bringing something from the Geth, and maybe I pick something up during the main mission and I give it to her. I guess we have to wait and see for now. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. This is interesting. In my memory, Vermeer was... Whoopsie. Yeah, I thought Vermeer was only available after I got uh, Pharos, Neveria, and wherever Liara was. I thought it actually only... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it actually only becomes a whale after... I will definitely go to Pharos first before we go to Vermeer, um, I think. Okay, I hope no one is interrupting me again. Yangtze, why... L let me go. Or I forgot again where I have to go. Uh, uh, open, please. What time is it anyway? Ah, okay, I still have time. Still have a few hours. Okay, I think this is this is the DLC. Oh yeah, we saw the DLC as well. Perfect. Let's go. Goodbye, Nuveria. I really hope I didn't forget anything here. Oh, we were still all the time here. <laughs> Goodbye, snowy, snowy planet. I'm sorry. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Let's go. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone wrong. Oh no! I think I remember. Oh, I don't like that. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Okay. What's what's virtual the problem? Virtual intelligence then? support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. This is not what I'm The VI controls for, right? all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Uh huh. I'm gonna need it. Uh, protein data disk recovered. You detected a weak signal coming from the far side of the planet Alrum, dear. <laughs> this is not how you pronounce it. <laughs> Chuck brought the Normandy around and you salvage team picked up a small escape pod trapped in orbit. There was a long data room inside along with a few personal items and a protein data disk. Okay. 
Okay, this is definitely the Severus one. I'm confused. Is this what I'm going for now? Rare element survey. Scans from orbit have detected a large deposit of thorium. Alright. Light metal survey. Scans from orbit have detected a large deposit of beryllium. Bin to Let's see, we've been with Liara and Kane. We definitely bring a uh, tally because I need someone with tech power. Rex of Garris, Rex of Garris. We go with Garris. Rex is the next time then. Promise. Okay, first of all, I know you two will have a few points. 13, for example. A little bit here would be, would be, yeah, okay, it's fine, it's fine. And 17 for you, it's even better. Wee -wee -wee. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long for you. There you go. Shield boost would be maybe smart as well. Alright. Mebity map. Research facility. Research. Is this? Oh god. Um, maybe we go like research facility, research facility, debris. Does this sound smart? Let's give it a try. She's very short. Ah, uh, okay, no, this is somewhere else. Ah, uh, this is still, okay, this is still the Saber situation here. This is also somewhere else. Ah, go strong. Okay, no, no, no. All right, all the, all the Saber stuff here. Ooh, what do we have here? Oopsie. I know this is not a way I have to go, is it? Okay, I think it makes more sense if I go there later. Oh god, yeah, driving around with the Marco again, I was missing this so much. Just looked it up for Tally, you need to complete a side mission. Okay, in that case, that shouldn't be a problem, because I'm planning on completing all the side missions that are there. Thank you so much for looking it up. I saw some enemies there, I, I thought maybe I'll go here first. <laughs> By the way, oh God, I, I turned it a little louder during all the conversations. Where is it? Oh, is it you? Is it you I'm looking for? Oh. Uh, rare element. Splendid. Just lead the oh. way. Yeah. I'm here. I, I'm trying to get in here. Yeah, come on, you can do this. I believe in you. <laughs> yeah, where are we saddle? How did you see us?
I think one of these wars is full of husks. I'm not so sure about the others anymore. Ah, oh, amazing. Ah, oh, what do we have? What do we have? What do we want? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Spectre training. We can go with one. What happens here? Master shield boost. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, a little more for lifting. You two only get two. I am sorry. Maybe I should give him something on a sniper rifle. I'm not sure if he actually uses it that much anyway. I am... Um, I'm not so sure. Okay, should be fine. Uh, hacking, damping, electronics, maybe a little more pistol or shotgun. Not sure what she's using mainly. Basic armor, I think you're doing good. Really not too rough because she uses the shotgun, but if she does, um, now she's ready. <laughs> now she's really ready to use it. All right, guys, I hope you're ready. A little louder. Can we? Yeah. Can we? Can we prepare? See? Are these, these are not real husks. Yeah, sure, open it. Sounds like a great idea. Ah, this is interesting. Oh Jesus, what is happening here? Make sure that doesn't happen again. What the hell? I thought only these little things were here. Shit, where did I come from? Oh, what, what, where? Ah! Oh, this is not good. Am I dying? No, I'm actually fine. Everything's fine. Shield boost. What, what are you doing? She really wants to use her shotgun. <laughs> By the way, uh, who are you? Is this is this Tally? I don't know if this is Tally. Yeah, this is Tally. There, I see her little heady. I gave you such a nice shotgun. Maybe you should use it. There was no sign of Kahuku among the creeper corpse. He must be at one of the other labs in the area. Okay, you, you killed the other guy. And in the meantime, while I was killing this guy, I see, I see. Amazing. Once again, I'm gonna check it out later. <sighs> First, we loot the rest. Can I go in here? No, no in here. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. I actually didn't want to talk to you, but yeah, this is in fact true. A lot of armor. It's really a lot, a lot of armor, and we're not even done yet! <laughs> All the loot, once again. Instead of curiosity for me, I like new armors. Is there anything? It's better. Actually, no. That's that's slightly disappointing. Right. Pretty 
sure I can get rid of you already. Hmm, a lot of armor, but they're all kind of stuck. Okay, off to the next one. Two more to go, and I think some debris and a question mark. Lots of explorer on this planet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> Whew. Stream is fine, right? My my chat voice is welcome to the chat room. Sometimes it's dust when the internet was gone for a couple of minutes, but it's fine, right? Everything's fine. All right. Don't have to welcome me, chat room. I've been here the whole time. Um, uh, mebity map. I came from here, we go over here. And then we go over here, and then we go back here. Oof. first once again please tell me it's like on this side no of course it's not or is it I got the tower maybe you can already see it again no all right I think something was shooting at us but first things first waiting for us or are they is it only the small ones oh okay some technician again i didn't see once again ah yeah yeah and a sniper hell to the no No, okay, you did. Uh, shield boost for me, please. I, yeah, exactly. This is what I want you to do. Over here, I can't see where. So we go for you. Your buddy. You can't escape us. Hey, get me! You've eliminated the uh, uh, threat at this facility. Continue to one of the art on nearby left. Cerberus horrors will find at the next base. Well, there's only one left. But here it will probably be horrible as well. And here? The other lab was full of loot and there's absolutely nothing here. This is not what I was expecting. But alright! 
Alrighty, let's go to the next exactly the same looking lip. See, I think before we go to the last lab, we check out this debris first. Ah, okay, I can see it, I can see it. Whee! Oh, okay. I was more hoping for something to collect, to be honest, but alright. Yeah, let's go. I don't know, we're just so close. Let's do the uh, question mark first and then we can go to the last lab and then we can yeah, finish this new style. I got maybe that was the most stupid way to choose, but I cho chose it, so let's go with it. I'm looking for, right? Alright. Ah, yeah, but you first. Ah, a little too late. Okay, but I got it. So, let's get up there first. Here. Recover. Pretty data disk recovered. There are a few children's toys and some wreck cloth stuff inside the top of this monument, along with a Prothean data disk. Cool. Now let's go into the last lap. Backwards, apparently. Or not. <laughs> Just right, <laughs> right in front of the door. I like it. <sighs> I was thinking about killing the others first, but then again. Why is the Ragni attacking me and not the other humans? Oh, okay, they're attacking the Ragni as well. Jeez, not a fucking Christ. <laughs> it's 
a lot of explosion here! Oh, okay. I was just about to shotgun her! Hello? And where? Here? Ah. Ah, sniper! This is not good! Everyone, do something! Uh, oh god, I'm everyone! We owe Kohoku that much. Okay, we're not here, but yeah, um... You check for her pearls, but find none. Admiral Kahuku is dead. Despite the ferocity of the creatures he was sealed in with, there are no signs of trauma in his corpse. The needle marks of his arm suggest a different means of execution. It's Admiral Kahoku. Cerberus must have tracked him down. Like he said. Ah, oh, poor guy. So he's already dead when he was thrown in here together with the Rechnei. Rechnei. Thank you. I don't think I needed one. But thank you. Okay, one last stop, but I'm pretty sure this will be on a different planet because I'm, I'm also pretty sure we we're done here, right? Destroy main Severus facility. You found the location of a major Severus facility. Head to the Nithran in the Columbia system of the Voyager cluster and destroy it. I don't know why I said it this way. I'm sorry. But yeah, we're gonna do this. Ah, but before. Before, before. I'm pretty sure the stuff is not as good as what I already have. I'm pretty sure the others have better weapons as well. Stuff we found on the very I think was actually top notch. And this here isn't. Okay, thinking about just going to this main facility of Sabaris. So we can complete this and then going to the uh, citadel. Uh, let me in. Let me, let me in. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I punked very close. Just one last check, I really got everything here, at least everything I saw. Amazing. Let's return to the Normandy then. Oopsie, okay. No, I've just lost my chat, and there we go. Um, 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 where do I have to go for this? Protein data disk? Yeah, I know, I found one. Are you always going to tell me what, something when I found something? Severus has been... Location, major Severus facility, head to the Nephrion in the Columbia. Uh, oh wait, Columbia, head to Nephrion, Columbia. I think I'm actually in the right system, Columbia. Yeah, very close. Amazon? It's not where I want to go right now, Columbia, here it is. <sighs> survey. Rare element survey while scanning. Samarium, thank you. we actually have to go, but not now. Ah, million, nice. I don't always have to read it out loud, right? It's just, I, I collect stuff while clicking at it, it's not the most exciting part, to be honest. This is more exciting, so let's land here. Bring Rex. And actually, tally again because I need someone with strong tech. 
power, so I can at least loot some of the things. Then again, most of the things are not even loot worthy anymore. But anyway, Tally and Rex sounds good. Medal of Exploration. I think because I landed on so many different planets at this point. Uh, yeah, I landed on eight uncharted worlds. Woohoo! Coolie, coolie you. And uh, Rex, of course, has 15 points. This is great. Sure which weapon you prefer. Ah, this looks good. Alright. Animally on the ground facility. Yeah, definitely animal animally first. Maybe I go with the debris for a uh, second and then with the actual facility. Why do you have to show me this? First I wanna loot this as well. I wanna loot everything. This is uh that is like a difficult way to get up. Uh, uh, ah, I can't see <laughs> this way. You can do this. Follow the sun. Oh, this is not follow the sun. This is. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, now you're following the sun. Ah! I don't think they made it better. Do we even have to get up here? Yeah, I think so. I can't see it. Let's be somewhere here. Ah, there we go. Sweet! Ah. Yeah, I know. We're waiting, we're waiting. There we go. Oh, it's easy. Ah, okay, I already, yeah, yeah. I already know where I have to go. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, fuck my life. Can we just... Yeah, let's go the easy way. Let's try to go the easy way. <sighs> Getting hungry. Maybe I need a little snacky. But I really have to buy groceries tomorrow. I hardly have anything to eat left. Uh, but because, to be fair, because I knew I had to buy groceries tomorrow. I don't know where. Must be close, but Jesus, I hate this planet a lot so far. Okay. Ah, okay, down there. I'm gonna fight Solarium, right? I need tech recover. This Saber soldier had an ident this Saber soldier had an identification tag for Captain Varsnev, one of the Salarian soldiers responsible for capturing the League of One. It's unclear how he came into possession of this relic. Okay. As long as I got it back, I'm happy. Yeah, I would like to get the debris first, but probably have to kill some. Towers or people, guards, I don't know exactly what is waiting for us on the outside. It doesn't look like one of the towers. Yeah, it looks like people. Hello! Should 
have known this is not the safest spot to hide, right? Okay. Check out the debris and I really hope there are no new guards when we come back. to get up here again. It will probably not be even worth it. Let me out! Christ prop. Get it. Is it only some shitty upgrades again? It's only some shitty upgrades again. Wow. Okay. Underground facility. Okay, maybe this can work. Maybe it will not be as hard as I was afraid of. It would be. No new guards, amazing. Relief to see. Can I park here? Unfortunately, no. I would have loved to park here. You cannot exit the marker. I already exited the marker. What what do you want from me? I'm already not in it anymore. Can we already be ready for that? Anyone wants to fight? Oh god. Hi. There's no real damage here. That was my belt. This is the wrong power. Could you ah do not this? Someone give me a hand! Oh my god, wait, why am I sad? Okay, maybe they were stronger than I remembered. You, you take care of her, right? Ah! Come here. No, 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 no. Actually, one of the throw a grenade. Incoming! No one's nearby. That's nice, but not now. You guys want to do anything useful? That was actually good, Shepard. That was not good. <laughs> oh, that was the wrong key. This is what we call the wrong key. Where's here? Who's here? Wow! Do something! I was so stupid. Of course, two snipers would would uh, instead tell me that was very stupid, Shepard. AKA me, Rose. That was very stupid. <laughs> you can't blame this on Shepard. You made this decision, and it was very stupid. Okay, why are there so many snipers in here? <laughs> okay. Should have thrown a grenade at them. Are we at least already in here? I didn't save at all on this planet once. Oh. 
Are you fucking kidding me? You didn't save once? Why didn't you save when I was going? <laughs> this is a fair. Okay, alright. Auto save on points. Doing all the shitty planet and I was almost done. It was only the three in there left doing all. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate everything right now. And she was too stunned to speak. This is... Oh my god. Usually when I go into something, like when I'm leaving the macro and I go in something... I got this part. Alone this part. When I go in a... In, a, in something and, and... I don't want to do this all again, man. You have to really fucking kidding me. I thought I could trust you. Auto save. I really thought... I, I don't know how to get up there. Man. Of course I want it again. <laughs> I really thought I could trust you all to save. I just fucking... I keep, really can't trust anyone nowadays, right? If you can't trust your autosave, who the fuck are you supposed to trust? I can't believe I have to do this all again. I can't believe I have to do the fucking planet again! Fuckity fuck my life. This is always the worst if you can't trust the outer safe. Exactly. If you can't trust the outer safe, who can't you trust? A sensitivity for frequency. <laughs> it's totally fine. Yeah. Again, I, I, I was convinced that as soon as I go somewhere in. Like going into the facility, it would outer safe, but apparently that was not the case. I am apologizing! Yeah, we're doing this all again. But I promise faithfully from now on, every time I will leave the marker and go somewhere in, in where some, I will definitely save. I was really not a big saver, usually I'm a big panic saving person, but so far here Mass Effect I really haven't. Come on, you look like you have something for me. Okay, no, it wasn't near them. Where, where is it then? Oh boy, I can't even remember. Of course it happens on the worst fucking planet! <laughs> I want to do this all again. Hello, wow, for, for Sen? Is it called, is it, is it called it if you said? Is it okay if I call you Sen? I'm pretty sure Sen is the part I pronounced correctly. Splendid Mass Effect Monday to you. I hope you're doing good. Better than I'm doing right now. I have to do the whole stupid planet again. And it's an annoying planet. Just because I got killed. I really thought autosave was on my side, but it clearly wasn't. Now I have to do it all again. Yep, you can call me Sen. Alright. You can call me Rose. Ah, but hey, for you it's the first time you see this, so I will pretend like I haven't done this before, just a few minutes ago. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 I, 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 ow! Yeah, the snipers are the ones that killed me, the last time. You would probably not kill me in my Marco, but I still hate you. Yeah, you deserve that. You, you're kind of stupid, aren't you? Thinking you would survive this by foot? Food, 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 by food. <laughs> ah, I think I remember the planet. I love Mass Effect, so do I. This is my fifth or sixth playthrough. Why am I stuck here? I really do love Mass Effect, but I do not love the Mecha. Um, yeah, but my last playthrough is actually eight years ago, about eight years. So there is a lot of stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm surprised that there was a lot of stuff so far I didn't really remember. But yeah, biggest, biggest Mass Effect fan. You're definitely right at the right place here when you love Mass Effect, because so do I. 